Hello Aquarius, I'm here to give you insight for the month of November. So let's get started. All right. So when you can be dealing with a fire sign person. Leo Sagittarius Aries, half fire in your chart. What's going on with Aquarius in the month of November? Aquarius, Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius in the month of November? Aquarius, Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius in the month of November? Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, uh, Aquarius, I, I got a vision of a pink ribbon, and usually the pink ribbon, ribbon is uh, representing, like, you know, breast cancer awareness. Okay, so maybe you're honoring somebody in the month of November. <clears throat> okay, or bringing awareness, breast cancer awareness. I mean, that's, or maybe you're having a girl. Maybe you, a yellow ribbon can mean a girl, but the ribbon I saw was, like, the, the ribbon, the, the breast cancer or cancer yeah, I think it's a breast cancer awareness. Okay, I just saw a um, pink ribbon. Okay. Right, what's going on with Aquarius, 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 Aquarius? <clears throat> what's going on with Aquarius in the month of November? Okay, I got a vision of a chariot. I mean, you could be dealing with the cancer or have cancer in your chart. Maybe you're focused on moving forward, overcoming obstacles, maybe focusing on getting on the same page as someone, bulldozing over motherfuckers, okay? Maybe, <laughs> maybe you're bulldozing over someone, you know, maybe breaking boundaries, okay? Limitations, energy like that, <clears throat> okay? We have the high priestess, the high priestess. So uh, you could be dealing with the high priestess or you are this high priestess, someone who's very intuitive, okay? Someone who... Um, is not moved by their emotions okay they're centered um the high priestess um could also represent someone i'm hearing i'm not telling so some of you aquarius could be withholding some information or the person you're dealing with is withholding some information i i, I just heard i'm not telling okay um the hanged man okay so you, some of you are holding on to something okay uh, some of you could be keeping quiet about something, okay? Um, and you're holding on to this. So Aquarius, good job. You're, you're holding a secret. <laughs> you're keeping a secret. Okay, um, I was also hearing Aquarius. Some of you could be a part of some type of secret society, okay? Or a part of a, part of a, a group or a, a, collect, a collective of people where you can't get out a lot of information. And so... Maybe that's what's happening with you, Aquarius, but there's the energy of just keeping quiet about something. You know, the hangman also talks about sacrificing, releasing something as well, letting something go. Um, hmm. um, yeah, some of you are being, uh, it's, it just seems weird. Some of you are, are being told to keep quiet about something, okay? Let me see. What is this um, hanging on? You're being told to keep quiet about something or you're choosing to keep quiet about something, okay? Which, in a way, could be giving you a lot of headache and stress, in a sense, okay? Let's see. What is this hanging on? I don't know why I was hearing I got some tricks up my sleeve. That's really weird. Okay, your hands are tied in a way you're not, okay. This has something to do with the magician, somebody who is, um, could be somebody who's very clever in a sense. This could be you as well. So you got some tricks up your sleeve, okay? So maybe you are working on a project, you have something going on, and you're not telling people what your next steps are, okay? You're not telling people what you have up your sleeve, what you got going on, okay? Okay. It just seems like it just seems like that, okay. 
I also see this as a need to release something. I think your intuition has been telling you something, maybe telling you something about a person, a situation, and there's a need to free yourself. Maybe uh, I was hearing you're stationary. Some of you are like stationary and mobile in some sense, in a sense. And so it's a call for you to tap into this magician energy, utilize all of your resources to free yourself. Uh, utilize all your resources so you can begin to manifest what it is that you're desiring. I was hearing lazy bones, okay? So it could be that uh, there is an energy of somebody being kind of lazy, unmotivated, energy of like that. You could be witnessing this, Aquarius, or this could be you, an aspect of you, okay? So you're encouraged to move forward. I feel like this is a green light here. With the um, hangman and the magician here, this is a green light. You could have been Sitting on an idea, kind of letting things marinate a bit, you know, utilizing your intuition and you're just kind of waiting for that sign. And I feel like this is the sign right here. What else is going on? <clears throat> what else is going on with Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius. What else is going on with Aquarius in the month of November? Okay. Also, this uh, magician could be someone, it's Mercury. So it could be a Virgo, it could be Gemini, it could be someone trying to help you. Okay, maybe trying to put you up on game to help you get out of a situation that you're maybe in, a situation that you feel or perceived as maybe uh, as a trap in some type of way. Maybe you saw the situation as um, like a limitation for you or you saw it as like a, 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 like a, how can I say this? I don't want to say burdensome. I want to find another word for trapped. A situation you felt your hands were tied in, okay? All right. But you can free yourself, absolutely. Okay, what else is going on with Aquarius, 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 Aquarius? Okay, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. And this could be freedom for you, Aquarius. This could be freedom, okay? I was hearing freedom. So maybe you're being released. I was hearing something about contracts. What else is going on with Aquarius? What else is going on with Aquarius? Um, this could have been a situation where um, with a family member or something. Okay, this is a tree. He's hanging from a tree. But, you know, family tree. This could, be, could have been a partnership that you were in. And it's like you guys grew apart. And so... The fact that you guys did grow up out apart, you were still on the hook in some type of way. You were still on the hook, but now you're being free. Okay, set free because you utilized your resources or you could have utilized, you know, some of you could have used magic <laughs> in some type of way or utilized this person, whoever this person is. Okay, this is somebody who calls the shots. Okay. We have the Three of Cups, so definitely a celebration, okay? And then we have the Page of Cups here. So definitely a celebration after a stagnant um, period of time. There's, this is definitely a celebration. Um, some of you could be celebrating this um, victory, or this could be a celebration. Maybe you're celebrating um, with uh, Scorpio, you know, because it is Scorpio season. Maybe you're celebrating a birthday uh, for some of you, okay? Or just cheersing. Um, I was hearing cheers to the freaking weekend, okay? There is somebody who wants to come in and apologize to you, or this is somebody who's offering their cup to you, somebody who is interested in you, Aquarius, okay? I was also hearing cutting cords. So uh, some of you, Aquarius, could have been cutting some cords in some type of way. This is cutting cords, and then now this is the celebration here, okay? Um, now that you've celebrated, you do have a new outlook uh, on life. Like, you feel free emotionally as well, okay? I do see this here. Uh, this could also be a child, okay? This could be a child as well. Um, all right, this could definitely be a child. Celebrating pregnancy, a surprise pregnancy as well. What else am I seeing here? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I do see an apology here or an offer, like a, a, a kind, sweet gesture, okay? Um, this could be coming your way or you could be offering somebody this, okay? A gesture. All right. What else is going on with Aquarius? Aquarius. Oh, damn. Okay, I just heard Aquarius. Somebody said they wanted to make love to you. What? 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They could be seeing you, you know, partying, celebrating, you know, looking good at the party. They're like, oh, yeah. This could be your boo, okay? Somebody that you're actually with. Okay. We got the Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity, a new beginning. We got the Queen of Wands, which I feel like this is you, Aquarius. Your opposite sign is Leo. So I feel like you're really in your bag <laughs> in the month of November. You're feeling really amazing you're feeling empowered as well some of you are being rewarded okay this could have been like a settlement or just this is money and opportunity coming your way here okay and then we have the uh queen of cups here and then we have the seven of cups some of you may not know how to feel okay you've manifested this i feel like you've manifested an opportunity for yourself and like you're recognizing your power you're seeing your power and you're like how in the hell did i get here i have all of these options now now what okay that's for some of you not all of you some of you could be in a same-sex relationship here okay so uh it could be that some of you could be had maybe had accepted or accepted a job Okay. It just it seemed like an energy of accepting a job and then the Queen of Cups, like not really knowing what to do. The Queen of Cups doesn't know how to feel, what to do. Okay. Um, it's just an energy of that. Okay. You could be this Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a fire sign person. Um, but you, maybe you're not knowing how to feel that like there seems to be too much going on emotionally. It's just kind of like the seven of cups. Yes, it could be several options that you have here. You're, you're choosing. OK, you're, you're making a choice. Others of you, it could just be that this person has a lot going on emotionally. They don't know how to feel. They're kind of all over the place. They're thinking this. They're thinking that. It's just you, they just don't know. What is the seven of cups? Seven of cups. Seven of cups. What is the seven of cups? Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. There seems to be some magic going on here, Aquarius. There's some magic going on for sure here. Somebody could have bound you or tied you up, or maybe you tied somebody. And when I say tied, it could be spiritual tie, you know, to restrict this person. But it's like, it, it's worn off now. <laughs> it's worn off. They went from... They went to another number seven, seven of pentacles. So the hangman is three and so is the three of one, um, cups here. So you went from a place of feeling stuck to celebrating, okay? Well, it could have been this person that you maybe put magic on or something. They <laughs> went from a time of feeling stuck to feeling happy and joyous, okay? It's not for all of you. Not all of you are dealing with people that are putting magic on you. But there's, there's some, there is... A hint of magic here so with the seven of cups and the seven of pentacles here so hmm seven is a de definitely a spiritual number here so I feel like you've had a lot of options here before you Aquarius and so you're needing to take some time out to really decide what it is that you're wanting this is not a decision that needs to be made impulsively I feel like um, there could be a water sign person that influences this like they're kind of impulsive and it's like you're needing to not Be pushed into making impulsive decisions. So be really careful with that Okay um, If this is not the other person who's being impulsive, it could be you. Okay, so just be really mindful of that um I was hearing too good to be true. There's just there's just a need to do some research. Some of you may have already done this research, but this is just the energy of being too good to be true. Okay, so just weigh out your options here. You know, weigh things out a bit. Don't be too impulsive. Okay. Uh, what else am I getting here with this? Um, let's see here. Page of Pentacles, or not page, but the Ace of Pentacles. This is definitely a new beginning. I was hearing a fresh new start, an offer, financial offer as well. I was hearing financial aid as well. Okay, I was hearing also that some of you Aquarius are doing your thing. You're making your money. Okay, you're reaping the rewards. Okay, 
your needs are being met as well. And so you're just sitting back. Some of you are sitting back and just seeing how far you have come. You're also reflecting on your past as well. Like, damn, like, look where I'm at now. Look at all of these material, beautiful things that I've acquired over the years through my hard work. So just an energy of that sitting back and taking count account of everything that you've been through and everything that you have like this is uh, an energy of being more thankful okay for what you do have some of you Aquarius need to maybe be more thankful um, for what you do have all right um, let me see here because this um, Queen of Cups here she's very focused on her cup she's not looking anywhere else she's just kind of Focus on herself. Um, there could be someone that you're dealing with or know that's somewhat antisocial. They're kind of just, um, and this could be you. This definitely could be you, Aquarius. But this is someone who's kind of antisocial. They're kind of focused on their own needs, their own emotions. This could be maybe a call for you to be focused on your own needs and emotions, okay? You could be dealing with a, a king of cups. It may not be a... Um, Queen of Cups, but this is a water sign energy person that is just focused on what they have, their needs. This could also be an energy of greedy, a, a greedy energy, okay? Um, but they can also be generous. This person can also be generous as well. I do see here. They have generous moments. All right. Let's see. Um, strings attached. Okay, I was hearing that the Ace of Pentacles comes with strings attached. Somebody could be giving you money or supporting you in some type of way, but there's strings attached. What is the strings attached? Strings attached. Ace of Pentacles. What is the strings attached? Strings attached. What is the strings attached? There is definitely strings attached. Strings attached, strings attached. Oh, strings attached is the three of swords. Oh, goodness. Okay, so Aquarius, um, for others of you, this could be somebody offering you something and, you know, the strings attached is that they can be with other people. So it could be that you is this one, two, three, three people here. So you could be in a third party situation, but you have this agreement. Okay. It's an agreement for you, Aquarius. All right. Okay. You could be offering somebody something or they can be offering you something because they want to be able to do what they want to do. But this is something very painful. This is three of swords. It's betrayal. It's sorrow. It can even talk about a third party situation. So you could be involved in a third party situation and you're just there for the benefit. Okay. Or this person could be there for the benefit. Okay. Um, all right. Um, okay. Because the offer is coming, moving towards a fire sign person. Leo Sagittarius Aries here. Okay, but this is painful. This is like a this is an un, undesirable situation. It seems like that's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, um, and I also see this as too good to be true. Like I was talking about before, there was an offer coming in, so you need to do your research. Okay, utilize your intuition. Don't get tied up in no BS, Aquarius. This offer that's coming to, coming through, you need to do your research. Okay, definitely do your research on this offer and why this person is offering this to you. Okay, because I feel like there are some type of strings attached that could be painful or give you a damn headache. Okay, but for others of you, you're down with it. So some of you are down with this, whatever this arrangement is. Okay, so I do see that. This could be also somebody paying you out, Aquarius. Maybe um, there was a split. Maybe there was a separation and maybe this person is having to pay you out. Okay. Maybe this is like spousal support or something like that or some type of support. Okay. That's being granted to you or you're having to grant support. You're having to give support to this person, whoever this person is. Okay. 
um what else am i seeing here this, this seems like a lot all right you're going to pick the 11th card because the 11th house belongs to you aquarius house. some of you are needing to incorporate more joy more happiness more har harmony within your relationships okay this can also be uh between your siblings as well there needs to be more harmony more joy happiness okay somebody is needing to also apologize as well okay i see all right yeah there's a, there's 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 an energy of a, a pregnancy here aquarius for some of you Listen, um Hmm. Let's see here. And this um, coin may not be an offer. It could just be a seed. Okay. Somebody getting somebody else pregnant. Okay. The seed is representing the sperm. Okay. So somebody could be getting someone pregnant. They could be, it, it seems like there's multiple people here. Okay. Aquarius. So hopefully you're not getting several women pregnant. But you know what? <laughs> it can happen. All right, or maybe you're getting pregnant and there's several other women or other partners. Okay, it's just, just it's an energy of that a seed being implanted in this Queen of Wands and not knowing maybe who the father is or not knowing that there's other people in the mix. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, so I know that some of you are not dealing with no mess like this. Okay, <laughs> 11 card for oh wow, what. What is already with you? This head just popped out. What's already with you? Okay, so maybe some of you are seeking outside of yourself instead of seeking or going within. Okay, what you're looking for is already within you. All right, let's see here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Who is this magician? This magician is somebody who's like a car salesman, somebody who's very sly. They can talk their way out of any situation here. Hmm. I'm, I was hearing, I'm going to tell you what to do. <laughs> you could be in limbo over a situation and you go and talk to this magician. Like, I'll, I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what to say. <laughs> This is how we're going to do this, okay? All right, spirals of manifestation. Spirals of manifestation. Wow, so uh, I do see that you, Aquarius, are manifesting. It's also a call for you to bring awareness to what you are manifesting, okay? Let's see here. This oracle has a message for you. Sometimes when we feel the furthest away from what we want, we are actually closer than ever before. Just one turn on the spiral loop of creation can see your manifestation taking root in the world. You must hold true to your faith and keep working on your progress. Forget about believing it when you are seeing it. Any old soul or young soul can do that. You are a bigger, braver, more ancient soul. You have enough What's that? Chutzenba? You have enough Chutzenba? C-H-U-T-Z-P-A-H to believe it so that you can see it sooner, bigger, and brighter. Do not give in to those who tell you it should have happened already or that you have failed. They are just suffering from lack of patience and understanding as well as an arrogant assumption that their notion of timing is somehow superior to the greater divine timing at play in life. Be in goodwill with yourself and the universe. All is unfolding perfectly, whether you feel it right now or not. This oracle also brings a message to you about the perfect synchronicities that are taking place in your life. You may have started to notice these already. When we live from the heart, honor our creative center, and choose unlikely but lovingly rebellious ways to be in the world, we will begin to notice synchronicity every day. It is as though the universe is speaking to us intimately on all matters, which of course is which of course it is. This or, <laughs> this oracle 
reminds you that there is no point rushing to the bus stop. If you are way too early, you are just wasting your time. Better to live your life at a more appropriate pace and get there at the right time. You don't need the anxiety that comes from rushing towards your destiny. Try not to worry quite so much about the future. You will attract what you want and need so much more enjoyably if you relax and deal with the here and now. Remember too that your life path is unfolding in harmony with the paths of others. You will meet with each other for the greatest benefit when you trust in the flow of the one great creative spiral upon the, this galaxy spins, upon which this galaxy spins. Everything is ultimately in harmony with everything else to fulfill the great big cr creative intent of the supreme creative force of love. You're included in that, lucky. Healing process, say spirals of creation, spirals of light, you bring my manifestation to life. I trust in your wisdom and in your grace. Help me be wise and help and keep the faith. Repeat as needed. Okay. Wow. So that's uh, really beautiful. Okay. Um, I also was hearing with the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. Um, pay attention to the intentions of others, Aquarius, okay? And also it's a call for you to check your intentions, okay? Because with this Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, this is the energy of not having good intentions, okay? All right. So just be mindful of that, all right? So this is the end of your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.